Welcome. So this week's mini case study is about the topic of gene drives. And before we go on, I want to talk about what you're going to be doing at the end of this case study. I'm going to be asking you to find somebody in your circle, somebody that you are with, um, to talk about this bioethical question. Um, bioethics is best done through communication, and it's one of the things I think we're missing most in this class is the ability to talk to each other about our ideas. So I'm going to ask you to talk to somebody in your life. It could be a sibling. It could be a friend that you call, as long as they're not in bioethics. It could be uh, your parents, somebody. Um, and at the end of this, I'm going to ask you to record who you talked with, how they're connected to you, and what they wanted to do and why, what their reasoning was. Okay. Um, I'm not going to ask you to record your thoughts. I'm going to ask you to record the thoughts of somebody in your life. And you could do that by showing them this video or you can describe it to them and just see what they think. So here's how gene, what gene drives are. And specifically, we're gonna talk about gene drives with mosquitoes. So the bioethical question, the one you'll pose to somebody in your circle is, should we use gene drives to eliminate mosquitoes from the planet? And everybody's first reaction is like, yes, great, mosquitoes hate mosquitoes. And absolutely, mosquitoes are annoying. And not not only that, but they are the deadliest animal on our planet. They're responsible for close to a million deaths each year because of the diseases that they spread. However, scientists have some new genetic techniques using um, a, uh, a piece of technology called CRISPR. We can insert genes into living things. So we can put new genetic material into living things. And in the lab, they've demonstrated that we can insert a gene into mosquitoes that does two things. One, it says become a male. And two, it says make the, the like piece of genetic tech that will cause all of my male offspring to also only have males, right? Um, and in the lab, using fruit flies, not mosquitoes, but they're very closely related, they've modeled that by inserting just a couple of individuals, a couple of males with this new gene into the population, in just a couple of generations, all of the offspring born are males. And at that point, when the last female dies, having only produced male offspring, the population disappears, right? It's awesome. You could get completely eliminate mosquitoes. However, um, this technology does concern some scientists. There's some real bioethical concerns related to this. Um, the first is once it's reversed, if we were to release this into the ecosystem, into the, into the wild, not do it in a lab, but in the wild, it couldn't be reversed. Once it's out there, it's gone. Like it's going to, the gene drive will proceed to its natural conclusion until all the mosquitoes are gone. Um, which might be what you want, but what if all of a sudden you realize, oh wait, no, we don't want to do this. You can't take it back. Um, second, um, we cannot be certain of the unintended consequences to the ecosystem, right? Um, some scientists argue mosquitoes are not critical to other species, but we do know that all animals and all living things and ecosystems are really tightly interwoven and interconnected in ways we usually don't fully understand. So it's possible that there would be some unintended consequences um, to other species if mosquitoes went extinct. Um, we also can't be certain that the genes from the mosquito won't jump into other kinds of living things and potentially cause havoc in those populations as well. It seems pretty unlikely, but there are examples of genes jumping between species in other ways, just not the genetically engineered kind that we make. So, um, and then finally, the kind of what if scenario is what if we keep pushing this technology to the point where we can eliminate species and somebody with uh, really unethical intentions got a hold of the technology and started to use it to drive genes into or out of a population. Uh, it could be any population. It could be a population of other animals. It could even be a population of humans. So maybe we as a society don't even want to go down this road and develop this technology. So what do you think? Get rid of mosquitoes, potentially save millions of lives, um, do a great deal of, of good, right? Not to mention the fact it'd be nice to sit outside in the summer and not have to worry about mosquitoes. Or on the other hand, 
all of the potential unknown risks that could come from this kind of meddling um, in ecosystems that we've never had the power to do before. Let me know what you think. Please uh, post the response of somebody in your circle. Let me know who they are, what they think, and why they think it. All right? Thanks, guys.